Okay, kids, do you want to hear a story? Yeah! All right, then let's get started. This story is called Three Baby Beavers. Spring rains flooded the great river where the beaver family lived. This was very good since beavers rely on the water to protect them from predators and to help them gather food. Beavers waddle slowly on land, but in the water they swim as quickly as a fish. The large beaver lodge where the beaver family lived was now surrounded by deep, rushing water. Now they were extra safe. Mommy and Daddy Beaver knew that now would be the best time to teach their three baby beavers how to build a beaver lodge, since the river downstream was deep enough for beavers to build safely. So that is exactly what Mommy and Daddy Beaver decided to do. Baby beavers, said Mommy Beaver, your daddy and I have planned a very special day for all of you. Yay! What is it? The baby beavers cried in unison. We are taking a trip down river, replied Daddy Beaver with much enthusiasm. Follow me. Daddy Beaver led the way out of one of the tunnels in the floor of the beaver lodge. Beavers always make the entrance to their lodge underwater so that predators won't see them coming in and going out. Daddy, Mommy, and the three baby beavers all took a deep breath and dove under the water. They swam in the clear blue water around the edge of their lodge where the water had risen deep enough to overflow their dam. They swished and swirled around the rocks on their way down the river rapids. Soon, they arrived at a nice level area of the river surrounded with lush trees and berry bushes. Daddy Beaver led the beaver family close to the riverbank to discuss their plan. Baby beavers, today your mother and I are going to teach you how to build your own beaver lodge, announced Daddy Beaver. The first step is for each of you to gather a stick. Copy the way your mommy does it. Swim along the edge of the river and pull branches from the trees nearest the bank and then bring them back here. The three baby beavers wiggled with excitement, but the littlest, baby Bo, started to become afraid. What if an alligator comes and swallows me up while I am getting my stick? She asked Daddy Beaver. Daddy Beaver replied, Stay with your mommy and you will be safe. But Baby Bo Beaver began to cry. She was too frightened to gather a stick. So Baby Bo stayed with Daddy Beaver while the rest of the Beaver family gathered sticks. Soon they all had a stick clenched between their big beaver teeth. That is, all except Baby Bo. Daddy Beaver continued, Okay, Baby Beavers, now is the time to plant your first stick in the riverbed. This is the trickiest part of building a beaver lodge, and it takes the most practice. Watch me. Daddy Beaver clenched a big stick between his long, sharp beaver teeth and swam to the narrowest part of the river. The water was fairly shallow, so this would be the easiest place for the baby beavers to practice. With a twist and a turn, a pull and a tug, Daddy Beaver planted his big stick deep in the mud at the bottom of the river. Ever so carefully, he let go of the big stick, and it stayed in place, sturdy and strong. Now it's your turn, Baby Benny, called Daddy Beaver. Baby Benny was the biggest and strongest of the baby beavers. He knew he would one day be as big and strong as his daddy beaver. With excitement and confidence, Baby Beaver clenched his stick in his long, sharp beaver teeth and swam to the narrowest part of the river. With a twist and a turn, a pull and a tug, Baby Benny planted his stick in the mud at the bottom of the river. Ever so carefully, he let go of the stick. But as soon as he let go of the stick, the rushing river water washed it away. Baby Benny began to cry. 
Did you see how my stick washed away even though I did exactly the same as Daddy did? I can't build a beaver lodge. It's too hard. Baby Benny sulked and swam back near the riverbank where Baby Bo stood. Baby Bo exclaimed, Baby Benny is so much bigger and stronger than me. If he can't do it, then I can't do it either. Building a beaver lodge is too hard for baby beavers. Mommy Beaver looked at her three babies and smiled. Oh, my little baby beavers, don't you know? Those who say they can't, can't. And those who say they can, can. Baby Betsy knew it was her turn next. Instead of becoming discouraged, she picked up her stick in her long, sharp beaver teeth. With determination, she swam to the narrowest part of the river where Daddy Beaver was. With a twist and a turn, a pull and a tug, Baby Betsy planted her stick in the mud at the bottom of the river. Ever so carefully, she let go of the stick. As she floated away, she saw that the stick stayed in its place, sturdy and strong. Look what I did, Baby Benny and Baby Bo. I knew I could do it, exclaimed Baby Betsy. Baby Benny and Baby Bo became jealous. Why could Baby Betsy make her stick stay, but I couldn't, asked Baby Benny. Baby Bo whispered, Maybe Baby Betsy had a special, magical stick. Yes, that would make sense of it, replied Baby Benny. Besides, Baby Betsy is not as big and strong as I am. If I had a magical stick like she had, I know I could do it too. Mother Beaver gazed gently at her two babies along the riverbank. Don't become jealous, little ones. Building takes practice, and you will need to learn to work together if you want to succeed. If Baby Betsy's stick stays strong and sturdy in the riverbed, that means you all are closer to having your beaver lodge. Now, why don't you both go find another stick and try again? Baby Benny and Baby Bo stood still, side by side, and crossed their arms. They decided they were going to watch. Daddy Beaver said to Baby Betsy, You did such a good job planting your first stick. Why don't you go get another? Baby Betsy swam upriver and grabbed a tree branch hanging low by the riverbank. She swam back to the narrowest part of the river. With a twist and a turn, a pull and a tug, Baby Betsy planted her stick in the mud at the bottom of the river. Ever so carefully, she let go of the stick. As she floated away, the branch was uprooted by the rushing river water. In a moment, both the branch and the stick she had planted before washed downriver. Oh no, cried Baby Betsy. Look at what I've done. I've ruined it. Now the lodge will never be finished. I should have listened to Baby Benny. I should have known I can't do this. Baby Benny and Baby Bo watched from the riverbank. See? Even Baby Betsy can't build a beaver lodge. It's just not possible to do, commented Baby Benny. Across the river, Daddy Beaver lovingly looked Baby Betsy in the eyes and said, Baby Betsy, don't you know? Those who say they can't, can't. And those who say they can, can. Why don't you go grab another stick and try again? The sparkle in Daddy Beaver's eyes gave Baby Betsy hope. Yes, I will try again, she said. Baby Betsy swam upriver and grabbed another stick. This time, when she planted the stick in the riverbed, the stick stayed sturdy and strong. Mommy Beaver said to her two babies by the riverbank, Baby Benny and Baby Bo, why don't you go out and practice planting sticks in the riverbed like your sister Betsy? That is the only way you will learn. Don't expect every stick to stay. You're still learning. Those who try the most fail the most, but those who fail the most learn the most. Baby Benny and Baby Bo looked at one another. Okay, let's try. 
Baby Benny, Baby Betsy, and Baby Bo all swam up and down the river, grabbing sticks in their teeth and planting them in the mud. They tried and tried. Some sticks stayed sturdy and strong. Others were washed away. But they decided not to give up. Soon, all three baby beavers had become quite skilled at planting their sticks in just the right way. And soon after that, their sticks formed a strong, sturdy dam that made the river stop rushing and start forming a large pool. See what you have done, baby beavers? Mommy Beaver shouted with joy. You have built a new beaver pond. This will be the perfect place for your beaver lodge. The baby beavers grinned. Mommy and Daddy Beaver helped teach the baby beavers how to stack their sticks and pack mud together to build their beaver lodge. They learned how to seal their lodge with beaver oil so that they would stay nice and warm inside. By sunset, the beaver lodge was finished. The beaver family swam under the surface of their new pool and into the underwater tunnel entrance of their new beaver lodge. Once they were all safe inside, Mommy Beaver surprised them with a mound full of berries. Daddy Beaver said, I'm so proud of my baby beavers. You learned to build a beaver lodge. And more importantly, when the going got tough, you didn't give up. The beaver family cheered and laughed together. <laughs> Mommy Beaver added, So what lesson did we learn today, baby beavers? They all said together, those who say they can't, can't. can't. And those, those who, who say, say they can't, can. The end. The end. I like this story. I like this story too. Good. I'm glad you liked it. I want to watch another one. All right. Well, you'll have to subscribe to hear another story. We'll see you next time.